Hey, my Wall Street pups, not a millionaire yet? Is it because you're super busy all the time, plus you're so broke you had to eat ramen noodles for the 12th time this week? Well, if so, I'm here to tell you, that's a truckload of boo feces. Today we will be talking about one of Reddit's most inspirational stories of a woman who was in the worst of financial situations and managed to actually become wealthy. All that without having to sell drugs or her body. Go figure! We will also see at the end the simple steps she used to get rich that you can start doing today. But before we do that, I have to remind you to like and subscribe. Look, I hate self-promotion as much as the next guy, but shit in here is hectic, alright? Small channels get little chances of survival, and this one especially so since the videos take so freaking long to make. So if you want to learn more about making money in an entertaining way, you'll be greatly helping me survive by subscribing and living a life and a... Oh, come on, what the fuck? So the story is about Nebion03. Nebion03? Nebion? Anyway, the story starts with my girl MV, who put this as the title of her post. 32, black woman, single mom, raised in hood, drug addict and absentee parents, once was homeless and prego, just crossed 100k net worth living in New York. Oh boy, aren't we for a treat? Maybe I was wrong about what I said earlier on the substance and body selling. But let's see what Nivian is all about. So NV was born and raised on what she calls a true hood. Not like those fake hoods with copycat brands you get in Chinatown. And her parents were a part of the 80s crack epidemic that presumably took their lives. She later ended up in foster care and remained there her entire childhood. Until being emancipated and left to fend for herself in the New York City streets at the young age of 15. Oh girl, you look like you have some change in your pockets. Touch me again and I will chop your tongue to pieces, feed it to the dogs and burn their shit after they're done. <sighs> Now, right off the bat, we can see how terrible her situation was. Like, Will Smith ain't got shit on this woman's level of bad luck. And to top it all off, she was not only homeless, but homeless and pregnant. And not only homeless and pregnant, but homeless and pregnant and a single mom. And all that before any of you scumbags knew what even jerking off was like. Hey, I knew it before I was 13. I was looking at this skincare magazine, and then it came out all cleared and... Let's just keep watching. Now, it would be understandable to give up under this kind of situation, but not for Nivion, as through crippling depression and the feeling of hopelessness, she was able to graduate school early, find a job, and save the staggering amount of $700 to go to trade school, which she finished before she was 19. So, $700 wouldn't seem like much for you, but given her starting point, I was glad she was not fighting dogs for the leftover cheeseburger at the back of her local McDonald's. At the end, she left us the secret to her success, the FIRE movement. And although I would love to tell you she got loaded out of all of them tendies from the airtime stonks she bought, I would have to go for the more mainstream route. But it can also help you get more money to roll at the last Nasdaq if you wish for it. FIRE is short for the Financial Independence Retire Early Movement that states you can retire at an early age if you cut down on your expenses and start investing as soon as you get your money. Please don't tell anyone how I live. Now, if you're anything like me, you already eat semi-expired meat and go to the dollar store to buy your air conditioners in bulk, but if you don't, you could be saving some real money to get yourself way better off than you are today. Now, Envy didn't start with much, but she understood that even if you have a crappy life with less than a stellar job, you can invest yourself to riches. She didn't specify what kind of investments she had, but she stated that she had a quote-unquote million dollars portfolio and a 100k net worth. Aren't you envious of her? <laughs> so the fact that her net worth was smaller than her portfolio tells me she was either up to her ass with debt or that she wasn't too financially savvy, but that only shows you how mindless this tactic can be. Now, to sum it up, just do the following if you have no more than two neurons and you still want to have more money to spare at the end of the week. Number one, don't spend money. 
Go the broke route as long as you can. Best practical advice is to put the same or a little more than last month into your investment portfolio. And not even a cent less than that. If you don't have it, you can't spend it on stupid shit. Number 2. Invest as soon as you get the money. Don't try to wait for the highs and lows of the market as even if you did manage to save your money and invest exactly on the lowest of the lows, you would still be behind the person who just shut up and invested when he or she had the money. Number 3. Go for broad index funds. I hold up to 50% of my net worth on broad index funds. You don't have to think that way and they will probably make you way more money than you picking your own stocks. Large hedge funds can't beat the market. What makes you believe your poor ass can? Just type SPY or SQQQ or EEM or whatever large ETF symbol you want in your Robinhood account and buy, buy, buy. And if you want to know more about some stocks that could beat the market, go watch this video. Or this one if you want to know more about how cryptocurrencies can make you rich or at least protect you from inflation. Bye.